This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly share with you five free drawing programs that you can download and use um, for creating 2D art. Um, these programs are very full featured, but uh, I'm going to emphasize in this video their abilities to create 2D art that can be used for animations um, or cartoons or um, artwork for books, things like that. So the programs are Krita, MyPaint, GIMP, Inkscape, and MeMaker. And again, all of them are completely 100% free to download and use. They will all work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux, with the exception of MeMaker, which is a Linux-only program. Um, so I'll pull up this first one here, Krita. So this is just a screenshot of Krita, a time-lapse video of some work um, being created using Krita. Um, this is not my work. These are, uh, these are done by other artists, and you can find the attribution in the comments of this video um, if you're curious about um, the artists or if you'd like to support them and check out more of their work. Um, but as you can see, you can do a lot of stuff um, with Krita. It's a great drawing program. Um, it's got mirror, mirror mode, so you can draw like what's happening now. If you draw just one side of the character, it mirrors exactly what you're doing on the other side. Um, it's got a lot of built-in brushes, um, different brushes and different presets for um, doing different kinds of artwork. It has presets for doing, if you want to do cartoons, and um, so different scenes for different cartoons. Um, it has and comics, I mean, th things like that. Uh, what else? Different co um, coloring and texture tools. So it's a great, great program. Um, I believe the, the, what you're looking at here was done using a, uh, a USB drawing tablet. Um, but yeah, so this is a, that's Krita. Um, this next one we're going to look at is MyPaint, also very similar to Krita. And I believe all these actually are going to be using, except for MeMaker, are going to be using drawing tablets to create the work. So they're not using a mouse and keyboard. Um, but you can use a mouse and keyboard as well. So let's take a look at MyPaint. Um, with my paint, um, it has a very similar feel um, to Krita, and um, so this is an example of someone doing coloring um, some artwork. And so you could actually draw something by hand on a piece of paper and then scan it in and do coloring, um, like we're seeing here. I'm not sure if this was drawn by hand or or if it was drawn on the digitally on the computer, um, but that's that's one possibility. Um, what are some of the other features? Um, my paint is not doesn't have as many features as Krita, and it's it's more basic and kind of easier to use. Um, you can work with different layers. You can um, everything is drawn in like a, a raster image. Um, so yeah, and then you can export to different uh, um, different image uh, formats like JPEG or PNG. You can have transparent backgrounds and things like that. Um, but yeah, so that's my paint. Um, if we go back, so this next one is GIMP, and GIMP is a cool one. Um, here's a, here's the interface um, of GIMP, and here's uh, someone creating some artwork in GIMP. And so um, you can do a ton of stuff with GIMP. It's not uh, it, most people actually don't use it for drawing. Um, a lot, most people use it for like picture image editing, like photos, photo enhancing, and stuff like that. It's very similar to Photoshop, um, but it has all these different it has different brushes and drawing tools, and you can you can actually create your own brushes for it. You can download and import brushes. Um, so you can do, a, and it's got a lot of cool tools you can work with. Um, and again, these are all these are completely free. They're not like limited trial versions. Um, they're the complete full version. They're open source software. So if you're not sure what that means, you can kind of um, look that up and, and figure out what open source is all about. But basically, it's it's software that's created by the community. And so a lot of these features can be, if you create a feature for it, you can open source that and then give that feature to everyone. So that's kind of the, the idea behind open source and, and the, this type of free software. Um, but so this is GIMP. Um, hopefully you get a, an idea for, for what it looks like and what it can do. Um, this next one we'll look at is Inkscape. And Inkscape is one of my favorite programs. It's a, it's a vector image program, so it creates vector images. And uh, here's the interface for it and, and what it looks like. Um, creating if you're creating something this is has more of like a cartoon feel to it you know so you're not going to create um, the quality of stuff that we were looking at earlier or not the quality but the type of of, uh, of characters and graphics we we're looking at in the other programs but the but it's a lot easier to come up with really quick um, artwork I'm um, using Inkscape and everything you draw as an object so unlike with um, bitmaps you don't have to e really erase and like and uh, uh, like modify things that way. Instead, you can just click on each object's object and modify it individually, um, which is one thing I really like about um, working with vector images and working with Inkscape. So Inkscape is a, it's if you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator, it's very similar to Adobe Illustrator. Um, basically, all the same features and all the same functionality as Adobe Illustrator. 
Um, and I've used both, and I, to tell you the truth, I prefer Inkscape to Adobe Illustrator. Um, okay, moving on to the next one. This last one is the, a program called Me Maker, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. I'm going to just hop over to a Linux machine uh, to show you that. And so with Me Maker, you can actually create different uh, characters. So it's it's a good option for for someone who's not if you're not um, really inclined to create great uh, if you're not very artistically inclined, let's say um, this way is a way you can quickly create some um, different uh, vector images of some characters, and then you can um, draw your own backgrounds and your own bodies and things like that. But anyway, this is what it looks like, and so you can just very quickly create something up if you don't want. If you want to make a, a cartoon or an animation very quickly, and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it, maybe you're not the most patient person. This is a good way to get started. Or if you're not familiar with some of the, the, the other tools, you don't want to spend time learning them. Um, you might look at Me Maker. So these are the programs I always wanted to share with you today. Hopefully, you found this video informative. Um, as always, you can check out uh, more of my videos here on YouTube uh, at my channel, TJ Free. Or check out my website too, tjfree.com, for more information. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.